Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here, and this is a uh, little sad thing. One of the new rummy noses that I got on sale is uh, will soon be shuffling its mortal coil. You can see a little bit of damage on his side there. You know how he's tail standing. He, I just fed them, they, he didn't eat. His behavior is different um, if you're fairly new to your aquarium and you do spend a decent amount of time watching your fish like I do you become pretty familiar with their habits and one of the first signs that something is wrong is when they start acting different um, I love rummy noses they're um, great color um, very active um, they got a lot of personality but they are fragile when you first get them um, they get the littlest bit stressed, they get a little bit sick, and uh, you they, they die fairly easy. But I do think um, it's worth it, and the guy was only about a buck fifty, so it's not a, uh, a big, big deal. But I do hate seeing my fish die. But I figured it was worth just to document a little bit for any uh, anybody that's new to aquariums. Some of the things you should look for when a fish is in distress. Um, if this was an expensive fish, there would be things we could do. I do have some medications that may be able to help him, but unfortunately, rummy noses go south so fast, um, it would just be wasting medication on him. Uh, if this was a more expensive fish, um, I would uh, set up real quick a hospital tank I do got a 10 gallon that I could set up in an emergency. Um, I would take 10 gallons out of here, put it in the 10 gallon tank with that sponge filter, um, and I would do the uh, the medicating of the uh, the sick fish in there. But I specifically bought one more than I uh, wanted because I know one of them was going to tank. That's just the way rummy noses go. Um, but now I got a question for people that may not, that aren't new. That stuff, the brown stuff right there, I believe it's called diatomaceous algae. It's on a couple plants. It's not on the big plants like that, that the fish can clean easy. Um, I'm not getting a bloom, but I cleaned this plant just a week ago. And it's back already. I'm not getting a bloom, but this stuff really doesn't seem to be that much trouble, and that is what the auto up here eats. So I don't know if it's even worth worrying about. If anybody has had any dealings with this stuff before, drop me a message. Um, if this is just something that's going to appear in the tank and be there as part of the natural cycle, um, you know, it's not, not a worry. It's not a concern unless I get a bloom, right? Or is this something that I should um, actively try to get down? Oh, thank you very much. And uh, say, say goodbye to Mr. Rummy Knows. I don't think he's going to be around much longer. But I'm not going to film that part of it. So...